That's right. Sheesh. I like the way you talk to me. Swag is so sexy. But she keep it classy. Summer sun got it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Miss Naturally Mary here. Y'all know I always serve the goods and today is no different. I'm going to be sharing tips and tricks on things that you may have been doing wrong, just like me. And y'all are going to see what I did wrong in this video in a moment. But right now I'm deep conditioning my natural hair. It was in dire need of some TLC. So I'm deep conditioning and I'm going to show you guys how to protect the style and a cool way to do it that's very affordable. And y'all are going to be so surprised by the price of this one. But what do y'all think about this look though? When I have my conditioner in my hair, I was lightweight feeling like the wet look needs to come back. I might need to try that on my actual natural hair. Y'all give me some feedback down below. But getting into today's video, the unit that I'm going to show you all today is from Her Given Hair. And wait, 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 y'all. They have a sub brand that's actually more affordable. Y'all have been asking for it and they delivered. The name of this brand is Wings by Her Given Hair. And I'll get into that in a moment. But the units that I'm going to be showing you all today, I'm actually showing you all two. One that's more affordable, that's actually a replica of the more expensive unit and I'm showing you all that unit now which is the proud of your coily unit this is a lace closure unit that they created and that one everyone loved because the shape looks so natural you can do so much with it with only a closure so that's phenomenal and I am going to show you all these two units side by side but the one that I'm going to focus on today is their new unit which is under the wings by her given hair the sub brand that's more affordable and that unit does not have a lace closure there's no traditional lace needed in that that it only has a small bit of lace at the very top. So it isn't a lace front unit. It's not a lace closure. This is actually a new construction that I think is phenomenal. You don't need glue. You don't need gel or any of that. And we love that for us. I love doing those type videos because those type protective styles are so much better and promote hair growth because you're not having to touch your hair or damage your edges. And we are all about that life. <laughs> so here's a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm showing you all the more affordable option as well as the more expensive. These are both in the coily texture. They're also in length 14. So this one is the natural 3C4A coily texture top unit. And the other is the proud of your coily lace closure wig. Now I am going to try both of the wigs on later on in the video, but I'm only going to wash and define the curls for the top lace unit. I swear the line was around the corner when she walked right in. High heels, short dress, he should have known right then. He walked over like, you the shorty, I should be rocking. She told him, baby, I'm a job, we need to get clocked in. She next level, eyes full of pride, she won't settle. No breaks, so she hit the road, foot to the pedal. No days off, I mean, that's often offensive. She like the ball, like the park with the fences. Yeah, so her lifestyle get awfully expensive. She might dismiss it, but it's hard to resist her. Cause she's a boss. Yeah, you can just tell when she talks. Shut the room down when she walks in. Not the type of woman you meet often. Cause she's a boss. Ooh, I love this texture so much. It is so gorgeous. So this is what the hair looks like after finishing the washing process. Now, this is something I want to make mention of because I absolutely did it wrong. When actually defining the curls, I molded the hair so that the wefts were exposed. And I'm showing the mistakes to you guys now, but at the time, I didn't even realize that I had done that. So I began to add my stylers, which is the Coconut Curling Cream, as well as the Dark and Lovely Curl Defining Glaze. I like to layer those two. After applying those two, I go in with my Felicia Leatherwood brush to detangle and also define the curls. Curls. And y'all, look at how juicy these curls look. I love how well this hair defines. It looks so much like our natural hair, especially my texture. It looks so good. I just love this texture so much. So if you guys are ever looking for a texture that's going to match your type 4 hair, if you have a similar texture as me, and you guys will see later on, once my hair is defined, it looks very much so like this texture, I would highly recommend the coily texture. And as you all just saw, I also decided to coil the ends just for the bang. The rest of the hair, I'm just going to use the brush to define. Fine, but in the front, I wanted a little extra little curl on the ends, so I did coil it around my finger using mousse. B O S S, -S L A D Y, holds a crown, no one can deny. B O S S, -S L A D Y, L A D Y, cause she's a boss. B O S S, -S L A D Y, challenge her that wouldn't be wise. B O S S, -S L A D Y, L A D Y, cause she's a boss. B O S S. -S B-O-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-
Now the hair looks so amazing. I'm actually gonna allow it to set overnight, but keep in mind, I did make a mistake. I actually styled the hair wrong without the lace at the very top. So that's a tip that I wanna share with you guys. Be sure that when you're actually washing the hair and styling that that top lace is actually in position. Now I am gonna show you all later on how to fix it. So don't worry. So this is what my natural hair looks like and my shrinkage is crazy. But if I were to define it, it's gonna be a similar texture as what I just showed you guys on the unit. But right now I'm gonna show you all my natural natural hair wig prep. I did decide to actually do flat twists in the front because that's going to help with styling. So if you're somebody who really wants to make sure that you're able to maximize your wig install, then do flat twists in the front if you have a natural hair texture wig, especially like the one that I'm sharing in this video. And I love the price point and I feel like you guys will as well. Doing your natural hair wig prep in this manner is going to be great. I'm showing you all all the products that I use. I will also link them down below. So keep watching. I just did two flat twists in the front. I'm gonna braid up the back and proceed to allow it to set overnight. So it's now the next morning and it's time for me to remove the satin scarf. So I'm gonna take that off and proceed to now install the unit. And what I like about the top lace unit is that you don't necessarily have to wear a nude or a skin tone wig cap. You can actually wear a black one, which I think is awesome. So I put that on and then I realized I needed to try on the Proud of Your Coolie unit first so that you all can have a true comparison. I didn't actually wash this one, but I do wanna show you all what it looks like on my head. So as you can see, the shape is the exact same. All it has is the lace closure at the top. And I decided to just tuck under the lace for now, but you could actually glue that down or even use gel in order to secure it down or like I've done, use neither. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna do a full spin so that you all can see the entire unit. It's so pretty. In the past, I did a twist out on this unit and I'll link that video down below. It is definitely a showstopper, but you can definitely achieve the same look with the top lace unit. So really quick, I'm showing you all the impact of the lace. It does have a good amount of parting. I believe it's four to five inches of parting space. You could actually wear the unit with the middle part or side part. And I really like that this unit looks great straight out of the package without having washed and defined the curls. So now let's get into the top lace unit. Now this unit has had the opportunity to air dry overnight. This is what it looks like. The curls look amazing. The other unit that I just showed you guys would look just like this if you define the curls as well. Now, as I shared earlier, I did make a mistake when actually setting the hair. So with that mistake, I started installing the unit upside down, but I wasn't aware that I was doing that at this point, but I'm gonna realize it in a moment and you guys will see that. I was so thrown off. I couldn't even believe that I did that, but it's a mistake that others might make as well. So I'm glad that I did to show you guys what not to do. Did I seriously do that? Really? Really? It's backwards. So as you can see, I was very flustered at this point. I didn't know how the install would actually turn out. I should have actually made sure that the top lace, that little circular portion in the middle was at the top or the crown of my head, but I didn't pay attention to that when I was washing and adding my stylers and everything. So just make sure that that's at the top. I am showing you all now what the unit looks like upside down. It doesn't look too bad, but it certainly won't look natural when someone stands over you and sees those webs. So I'd highly recommend actually making sure it's in the right direction. Now I'm inside 
installing the unit the right way and what I realized is that setting the unit upside down actually worked in my favor because the height of the hair from doing it that way was the way that I desired it to be. So I didn't actually have to do as much picking. I love that the unit wasn't flat on the top and just how big it is. It creates a really nice curly fro look and I just love that. To safely insert the combs, I just inserted them into my flat twist rather than into my scalp. That's a good way to decrease tension. I'd recommend that you all try that as well. So I'm just gonna continue fluffing the hair until I get my desired look and then I'll come back on. Baby, I'm fresh. Because I set the hair upside down, I actually realized that some of the curls in the front weren't defined. So I am gonna go back in with my Melanin Hair Care Leave-In Conditioner in order to oil them around my finger and define those areas a little better. So that's what you see me doing now. After doing this, I am gonna show you guys a few styles that you can do with the hair, including leaving out the flat twist in the front, which is gonna create a really nice natural hairstyle. And I really like that one a great deal. Boy, B.I.G. I flew a pig, but the pay out for me. Stay DM status, don't need a team to say nothing. They're just like press my seen on the ladder. Don't need a genie when I got the magic. Won't ask the mirror, I know who the bad is. Get up on your feet, get up on your feet. Y'all, this looks so good. And although I did some things wrong along the way, it worked out in the end. And here's another cool way that you can style the unit. You can do a half up, half down, but you would need to just unravel the flat twist in the front. You can also do a side swept little bang situation and also do a middle part, but I'd highly advise actually parting your hair down the middle so that it looks more natural. I just love the versatility of this unit. Although there isn't any lace, you don't necessarily need lace. Let me know what you all think about this unit. It's under $200, which is a steal for the quality of this unit and the versatility and styling that you can do. I just love everything about it and I'm so happy that Her Given Hair now offers an affordable line. I'm sure you all are excited about that as well. Leave a comment down below. This is the end of this video. I hope you all thoroughly enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram if you aren't already. Check the description. I'll have all the links and specifications for the unit down there as well as all the products that I shared in this video. I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next tutorial. Bye guys. <laughs>